Hey everybody, Joshua Gray out here today at, uh, hmm, I'm not sure if it's Bulow Creek or just Bulow State Park up in Ormond Beach uh, for my first, my first real run and my first run outside since, uh, since the Bartram. And, uh, I don't know if I've ever been to Bulow before. I know that we ran through, like, I think it was running through, like, the parking lot when I ran the Tomoka Marathon a few years ago. But uh, I know I've never been on these trails, which, uh, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool for sure. A lot of wetlands, uh, surrounding it. All right. sure what road that is over there but pretty cool so I got clearance to run uh, yesterday um, after I uh, met with uh, met with Don and uh, uh, Clay Wilson and we kind of looked at my uh, we looked at my knee and uh, you know, I've been pain free for uh, pain free for a little while now, and I've been running really, really uh, short, uh, short uh, distance. Well, not even distances, short times, anywhere from 30 seconds at a time up to uh, two minutes was the max that I got to. And uh, so we we met yesterday. Uh, we looked at my knee. Um, and kind of determined that, uh, you know, from all indications, it it didn't look like uh, meniscus. Um, so that's all that's all positive. I forgot the ligament that he he said that it could be, um, but you know, I, I think it all goes it all points back to kind of. Uh, you know, what I've been at least focusing on, which is, you know, strength. Gotta, gotta strengthen this, this lower, this lower half of my body. Uh, if I'm going to get any kind of longevity out of my, out of my legs and, you know, I'm not talking about longevity, you know, hundred miles at a time or 200 miles at a time. Uh, longevity over the years uh, over the years that I I want to run so that was great super excited about that because uh, you know not being able to do it not being able to run it it steals something from me that I really rely on for uh, for stress relief for gathering my thoughts for uh really that i mean <laughs> not to say that i don't think uh when i'm not running but i feel like i do a lot of good thinking uh, when i'm running but really it's stress you know uh stress running is a huge stress reliever not that not that I've got the most stressed life, but you know, everybody's stressed and you know, everybody's stress is different. And, uh, you know, some big thing to me might be a small thing to somebody else and you know, vice versa. So, um, you know, I rely on getting out and running for, uh, you know, for a lot of my stress relief, decompression, and thinking. So, I, uh, I'm excited to be back out. 
had to find a really flat course uh, and I wasn't at home so I couldn't just go to Ranchette or over to the preserve and uh, I just assumed Bulow was pretty flat because uh, it's right along the intercoastal so and it is flat. So I made another video about this, but I haven't I haven't put it up yet. Sneak past this guy. Bulow Creek State Park. Um, so I've been taking these last, uh, uh, really a little over a month now, uh, to recover, uh, to rehab, uh, really that's been it. I've just been, I've been doing some strength work for about the last 10 days, uh, but most of the other stuff was just, uh, pure PT on the knee and, uh, resting. And I think I got plenty of rest <laughs> since it's been, you know, I'm not going to count 30 seconds up to two minute runs as, as running. Uh, so, man. Really on top of my heart rate today though. So I'm not going to go into uh, I'm not going to go into my whole uh, strengthening uh, program that I'm going to do because I I talked about that in my last video and there's there's no point in rehashing it. Uh, I don't have enough time behind it now to uh, to give any uh, I don't know any good assessment of uh of its value or of its benefits yet so i'm gonna hold off on uh you know making uh, baseless assumptions or assumptions that aren't based on uh, uh reality instead you know some anecdotal evidence or something so so i'll delay that And I'll talk about what uh, what I've got coming up. So I've got uh, <laughs> I think it's it's about two weeks away, but I've got the uh, Savannah the Savannah Marathon in two weeks. Um, so really, from today until then is going to just be testing the knee and. Uh, you know, seeing if there's any, any pain that I'm experiencing and, uh, you know, I would almost think that if there is pain between now and then that, you know, I'll pull out, uh, I'll pull out of the run because I don't want to, uh, jeopardize, uh, my spring. Uh, Okay, so what's coming up this spring? I've got the Forgotten 45 in uh, Christmas, Florida, and I'm gonna run that with my uh, my buddy uh, Ryan Edrington, uh, who just started his his ultra journey. Um, he uh, he had reached out to me um, asking if I wanted to run. Um, uh, 40 miles for his 40th birthday, which was last week. And I said, yeah, I'm totally down for that. Um, and then he, <laughs> I think he went out for a long run and he saw that uh, maybe he was doing too much too fast. 
because <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what he what he was out for that day. It might have been something as short as uh, 20 miles, and he just, uh, you know, he it just it took everything out of him. So he was like, you know, what's double in that going to do? Uh, so he's actually uh, he actually started working with a coach. And uh, his coach uh, told him that, yeah, it'd probably be wiser if you eased into this and, uh, uh, you know, took a little smarter approach uh, to increasing the miles. So, so he, uh, he said, okay, I'm going to put this 40 off. And, uh, and then I suggested, okay, well, there's a 45 miler uh, on the Florida trail in, uh, uh, in February. Why don't we, uh, you know, why don't you train for that? Cause you got, he's got more than enough time to train for that. So I'm excited to run that with Ryan. Um, you know, Ryan, Ryan and I have run a few races together, but uh, I think they've just been half marathons. Uh, I think we've done a couple, a couple half marathons and maybe some shorter ones. I guess I don't even remember, but we've done at least at least one half marathon together uh and i'm excited to really <laughs> have one of my friends that isn't from the running world uh come out and start running so um you know i've made all these new friends that are ultra runners and uh now i've got one of my uh you know well he's a business friend uh, really he's he's in my accountability uh uh, my accountability group um so i'm super super pumped about that it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool i think that's the i don't know it's the within the first 10 days or so of uh of february and then march march is uh i'm headed back to gdr and we're going to have a much different result at GDR this year because I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in prepared. There's no question about that. Uh, I mean, we, we gotta, <laughs> we have a freaking cabin 20 minutes from the finish line. So, <laughs> you know, since GDR last year, we uh you know we just kind of fell in love with that that area uh we just fell in love with that area uh, of georgia and uh you know we bought uh bought a cabin up there because well because it's freaking awesome so uh, i'll be able to do um, I'll be able to do a ton, uh, a ton of, uh, hill training up there, which, uh, you know, which obviously I was lacking, uh, I was lacking down here. So, um, you know, having that, uh, having those hills isn't, you know, it's not everything, uh, it's not everything, but it's certainly going to make a, a big difference on, uh, you know, on doing well at GDR, you know, having comparable hills. So uh, I'll probably go up and run the Duncan Ridge a few times, uh, but probably most of my miles will be, you know, down here at... Uh, shoot uh lionia or liona and uh in big canoe so yeah super super excited about the uh the spring schedule i haven't decided if i'm gonna sneak one more run in there and do that new year's run of dawns um just because I'm not sure if we're going to be here uh, over New Year's. So, that's really all I've got. A little 
short. Well, I guess for me, it's it's really long. But a 50-minute run today, and wasn't able to control my heart rate at all. It's been kind of ugly. Um, some of it's probably due to taking the camera out and uh, trying to talk. That probably raised it 10 beats. But, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. I must have some just crazy hogs out here. You can see all that stuff dug up. But those are hog tracks. Anyway, I'm not sure why I'm saying that other than the fact that I saw it, but I uh, hope everyone's having an awesome day. Uh, hope, uh, hope everyone's out there filling their schedule with things that they want to do, things that uh, stretch them and uh, make them make you better, you know? So that's, that's it. Just try to be better. That's what I'm out here trying to do, so... That's my story. Not too much to add to it. Headed up to Gainesville this weekend to watch uh, Jeffrey uh, row a regatta up there. It's gonna be pretty sweet. And then headed to uh, headed to Jack's uh, 50K on Sunday to, uh, to help and volunteer. Uh, just help Dawn out. Uh, Cause she's awesome. And I love her. So that's what I got going on. I hope everyone has an awesome day. And get out there. Uh, get out there and stay on the path, everybody.